Hi guys, Exit Rider. Now this is another rant video, sadly, which I, I, don't, I really don't want to keep making these videos. So first of all, I made one a little while ago about residence parking and not being able to park my motorbike there anymore without a permit, which I think is absolute crap because we don't take up any space. We save the environment a bit as well. Obviously we're riding a motorbike being low emissions. Uh, now I went out in the van the other day to pop out and see a job and uh, I'm a tradesman by trade, and I was dismayed, to be honest with you, to find this suddenly popped up out of nowhere. Now, this is part of the uh, trial, yeah, trial my ass, uh, trial access changes starting in uh, 2023. Apparently they uh, have told everybody this is gonna be happening, but no one seemed to know about it, which is ironic, isn't it? So they just got on and done it. So that's the first frustration, is that there wasn't proper, proper consultation about this happening. So that's okay, me knowing Exeter quite well, I went round to the next road, which has a good cut through. Nope, that doesn't happen either. And that was blocked. And then I went to the other road, which was blocked. And then I went to the other road, which was blocked. So in the end, it turns out that instead of having a perfectly free flowing, uh, area which which does work it does get busy down here sometimes but it flows which is the important thing here so instead of that now i have to go around onto the main road and do a big uh u-turn you know big u basically to get to where i need to go now, i work on this side of the city quite a lot now and uh, it's, it's a busy side of the city anyway and uh being blocked off by these things is making absolutely no sense to me. Now, to my knowledge, the idea of the LTN uh, scheme is to help uh, basically bicycles being able to ride around a bit more. About it. Sorry, mate. About it. Yeah. Yeah, damn right. It's well out of all the uh, It's unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Do, do you know I didn't even know about it. I come down here. The, you right for film? Yeah, I don't care. Yeah. Yeah. I come down here the other day, I had no idea that it was blocked off. No, nobody told nothing, nobody said nothing, but all of a sudden it's just up, do you understand? Yeah. There may have been somebody being told about it, but what these, they're, they're being dictated, it seems like they're being dictated. Yes. And we're being dictated. Oh, absolutely, yeah. And this is unacceptable, really, because I think, I think, how can I put it? You've got kids that live around here. Yeah. And they have to go to school, their parents drive. So they're going to come out, and they can't, now they've got to do this 2.5 mile round, yeah. round the block kind of thing. Yeah, and it's not just around the block, it's not flowing traffic, is it? No. It's standstill. Yeah. It's bad enough already on Pinot Road, but now it's made even worse it's by... It's going to be made worse. It's going to be made worse. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, and you can't, I don't know if you know, but you can't go this way, you can't go down Ladysmith Road, you can't go through Whipton properly Whipton, now. That's right, yeah. And what's the other one? Is there another one? Can't remember. Either way, you have to go everywhere. You, you have, have to go the long way, don't you? Have to go a long way round, and I think it's going to be upsetting for a lot of parents. It's upsetting for me as a, as a recovery driver. Yeah. So how am I going to get into there? How am I going to be able to? It's funny you say that because I just saw a lorry come down just now, actually, yeah. and a Bradford lorry, and he had to turn around. And... I've just seen him up there. Yeah. I've just seen him up there. Um, it's not going to be nice because I do work here as a recovery driver. Yes. Yeah, I do work here as a recovery driver, and now this is going to cause implications for the local people that call me to come around. This is coming from Parliament. And what's the f***ing Parliament doing? Robbing us all. Yeah, yeah. We pay our road tax, don't we? Yeah. So why can't we use the road? Use the road. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, this used to be a, a busy thoroughfare, but it, as I say, it kept moving, it didn't it, here? It kept moving, yeah. It's always kept moving, yeah. Yeah. Whereas now, we're, go we're going from a moving area onto a non-moving yeah. main road. And apparently, well, I don't know about White's Road, but apparently something about White's Road came involved in it. Maybe at the top end there might be Oh yeah. You never know, maybe at the top end. Or yeah, you're right, because they'll come down here and try and miss the traffic yeah, and go yeah. up through. Yeah, so they're going to block that out as well. So it's basically just block, 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 yeah, block yeah. it. Yeah. So it's pushing it all out onto main roads, which makes it more polluting out there. Ah, oh, it just goes on. Knock on more effect, isn't it? More pollution out there, that's right on the mains. Yeah. On the mains, that's right. And here's going to be less, less yeah. pollution. But you see Ambulances. I know they can take the bollards out, but how long, you know, I think apparently they can. Apparently the fire brigade were testing it the other day, but you know, that's a garden shed by the time they take that out, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't worry, 
there's 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 enough um, there's enough people around here that's going to protest about this anyway, and you know them kids there they, they've got they've got the means you know what I mean yeah but I tell you my concern is that they'll protest but they'll still do what they want to do you yeah. know what I mean they they've still got those little boxes to tick haven't they yeah. we can't travel here we can't travel here we're just getting restricted to our movements yeah registered movements what is this what is this coming to yeah yeah what, what next yeah. I better leave you in peace, mate. But um, you right if I put this on here? Yeah. No problem, brother. Thank you, mate. No problem. Nice to meet you, right? Nice to meet you. Cheers, bud. Well, there you go. That that just about says it all. That's another. That's the fourth person. I haven't met one person yet that said it's a good idea. So this is the trial period for 18 months. Uh, traffic filters will be uh, introduced at Vaughan Road, Hamlin Lane, and St Mark's Avenue. Basically, just cutting off. Uh, the whole side of that one side of the sea, uh, one side to the other. Bus gates will also be introduced along Whipton Lane and the top of Ladysmith Road. Bus gates are basically um, just showing that the signs are up, uh, but the bus gates are actually open spaces, which you know people do abuse. I don't blame them. There's another car turning around. God, how many have turned around now? At least ten, I would say. They've got to go out on the main road now and do another. Well, what would be sort of 400 metres, it's now become a two, two mile trip for that car aspect. Crazy, absolutely crazy. I've totally forgotten where I was, but I'm going to uh, move on now and uh, I'll show you where the next place is. Yeah, I mean, I've never felt unsafe walking around here. No. And as far as emissions, it's causing me, I walk most places as much as I can anyway. The way I see it is it's going to cause more emissions in a busier area. Yeah, of course it will. Yeah, yeah going up Pose Low, up Pino Road and over Abbot Tree, it's going to be chocolate block even more than what it is now. Yeah. Absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, I, I can't make head or sense of it. I mean, I come down here the other day in the van and it was just suddenly there. I knew nothing about it. Oh, right. So yeah. I thought, that's all right, I'll go down um, Ladysmith. Yeah. That didn't work. No, you can't. It? No, you can't go down there because there's a blockage. I'm not sure exactly where it is, but um, I know there is a blockage sort right of. Right by the roundabout, it is. Is it? Yeah. Right. Yeah, I wasn't sure whereabouts in the, by the roundabout. On the Pinho side. Okay. But you, I mean, it's quiet now, but you imagine when the students come back. Yeah. And it gets busy again because everybody's on holiday now, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. When, it, when they come back, you know, we've got to put up with this. We're just walking down here now. I've seen a couple of cars come down that way of the turn around. Two or three, maybe four cars coming down this way, having to go into Wikes Road. And yeah. Road. Yeah, I don't think many people know about it no, yet. No, no, it was kept quite quiet. It was all apparently published, or publicised yeah. during the COVID outbreak. That's when it yeah. first came about, the cons consultation, supposedly. Yeah. And then they quickly rallied up a couple of more meetings just to prove they'd covered everyone. But uh, And what annoys me is that they say that it's uh, going to be public consultation, it's a trial over yes. the next... They'll just do what they want to oh, do. Oh, once it's in, it's in. Yeah. yeah. Same down Chard Road, they've done similar to this down Chard Road. That yeah. In. You can, it, it, that won't go, they're not moving it. No. I wonder what the people think about, you know, around here that I live here. No, I'm not sure. Because if they work in Marsh Barton, then they're going to be stuffed anyway, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. For example. Put in. Oh. Three days ago? Three days ago? Yeah. Yeah. It did say something about stopping traffic in some Whipton and Hebertry areas, but it's not much warning, is it? No. no. Right, so what I've got to do now is do a two and a half mile detour down here. Now, bearing in mind that if I wanted to get to the other side now, if I wanted to get to Hebertry, for example, then it is, uh, it's literally two minutes down the road. Whereas now I've got this main road to contend with, which is normally bumper to bumper traffic in uh, not even busy times, even in quiet times, it can be incredibly busy up here. It should be okay at the moment. Uh, but I've got a two and a half mile uh, run to do now, up and around to get to the other side. Uh, the other cut through, which is Ladysmith Road with a bus gate. Oh, got it in gear. Is another way which I could go normally. Not anymore. So what was a you know relatively high traffic neighbourhood here is, is now an extremely high uh, traffic area. A very much an area I wouldn't want to live in purely down to the um, emissions that's going to be coughed out here. It's going to be a, a very unpleasant uh, place to live. But of course, you can't really measure that, can you? 
But what I can tell you is that there's a lot of lorries that come up here and it, it stinks of uh, diesel anyway. It's not healthy at the best of times. But now this has been made even worse. Now I wonder how many people are going to abuse this sign down here. So again, I'm trying to get to the other side there. It will take me a minute to get to Heather Tree here. No issues at all. But no, I can't. Can I pull over legally anywhere? No. Because it's all residence parking here, of course, isn't it? Which I'm not allowed to park anywhere anymore. God, this gets on my nerves. So here was a classic case here with a district nurse uh, coming up to get through, not from the area. And uh, so what she had to do in the end was to turn around oh. and go back. Are you of trying course, to get through she there? She was using Google Maps. So Google Maps would show... Uh, the, the nearest other option, which at the moment Google Maps hasn't updated the new uh, LTN areas. Um, so, yeah, she was pretty stuck, really, and uh, didn't really know where to go. So I tried to direct her. The yellow line shows where the main roads are. These are highly congested roads, bumper to bumper traffic in peak times, and it's very much a stop start situation. Now, naturally, with uh, the scale of this situation and the amount of traffic which will be added to these uh, this situation as well, um, we can scale up uh, this the traffic a lot, lot more now. It is going to be very, very bad indeed. Okay, so I just run into Anne Jobson, who's um, just been filming with a TV crew over there. Um, thanks for coming along and having a chat with Not me. I all. appreciate that, because I literally just saw you there and I've just uh, pretty much jumped on you here. So, <laughs> um, yeah, explain what you do. And uh, Well, I'm, um, I'm a city councillor for the St. Louis Ward and I'm leader of the Conservative group on Exeter City Council. Um, within the ward and my colleague Peter Holland, who used to live in the Heathertree Ward, we've been getting tens of emails and communications from local residents about the implementation of the new scheme um, and, and why it is proving so controversial and is not the right scheme for the area. No, no. And where has this come from? Because the people that I met so far knew nothing about it, including myself, until I was going down uh, Hamlin Lane in the van and suddenly I, I come to a stop. So. Yeah. Um, well, of course, the consultation uh, such as it was, really only took place within the designated area. So right. anyone who lived outside the scheme didn't get consulted upon. And that will include health visitors, district nurses, um, small delivery driving companies, people who run small businesses in the area, um, but who live outside the area. And so the implementation over the weekend has proved to be extraordinarily difficult. Yeah. Um, I mean, one story I read on the Facebook post today was of a, a domiciliary worker who, um, in the end, le went back home, left their car there and walked to their last two appointments right, because yeah. they were just driving so many extra miles. So whilst these roads clearly won't have as much traffic on because they can't get anywhere. The main routes are going to have infinitely more traffic, yes. which is going to cause even more congestion. And on a road like East Wanford Hill, which is already one of the most polluted in the city, it's going to get worse pollution, not, it's yeah. not going to be better. Yeah, it's almost made high traffic areas into extremely high traffic yeah. areas, isn't it? Yeah. It's right, at the moment when we're filming this, we're talking about this at a time when the students aren't here, for example. Yeah, and the schools are on holiday. And the schools are on holiday. Yeah, which this Ladysmith Road was always a bit of of a, a clinch point anyway, yeah. wasn't it, at school time. And, and one can well understand why um, people should not have sat down and thought of a way of making it better for pupils at Lady Smith School. Yes. Um, as I was saying, I know that there were some councils who used to do things like walking buses. Um, one, you know, thought, would have thought that perhaps the church car park or the co-op car park could have been used as a drop-off point and the children could have then been safely walked idea. to school. Yeah. Um, so it would have improved everyone's, um, uh, you know. Yeah, this one now. How <laughs> uh, many of these? It's an Exeter City Council vehicle. <laughs> yes, yeah, I would have thought you'd known better, wouldn't you, really? <laughs> I got that in shot, so. Honestly, what yeah. we don't know yet is whether, is what effect it's going to have on um, big vehicles, you know, the bin men. Yes. Um, ambulances have all, there's already been reports that ambulances have been delayed. Yeah and uh, because not here so much but where they've got bolted posts in the ground 
I think the fire service has been doing trials and, and one took somewhere between 35 and 55 minutes to unbolt so they could get through. Well, that's... that's it's not acceptable, is that's it? That's not acceptable. No, no. That's not acceptable. And that is my main concern, really. I mean, it's... It, for example, if somebody has a heart attack, for example, and they're on the wrong side of the, the, the barriers, then it will take longer it will. to get to them. It will. And w I know it's a bit extreme to say this, but will there be lives lost because of time? Yeah. Time is so important. And we all know for things like heart attack, stroke, and the rest of it, um, you know, it's time that is of the essence. Yeah. And so you, an ambulance needs to be able to get the shortest way there, not the most circuitous way there. Yeah. Um, as currently designed. So I think that, um, and I have said to my... my <laughs> I'll tell you, I'm, he's on camera. I don't yeah. want him to go free, really. <laughs> he's going to anyway. Hello, mate. Are you from the council? No. No. What the hell? It's crazy, isn't it? That's why I'm filming this. I'm, I'm leader of the... I'll tell you what, I would labour for the council because I won't be now. Yeah. Not with this lot. I've, I've been around. I've, I've left... Every, um, Evertree. Yeah. And I've been a room free. Yeah. I can't get from nowhere. No. Well, I'm up here as leader of the Conservative group on the council, city well, council, asking for the scheme to, to go. It's disgusting. Yeah. Wasting money on that. Yeah. Me yeah, cutting grass. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There you go. Anyway, yeah, got that in. <laughs> Straight from the horse's mouth. Yeah, yeah, and uh, you know what, I mean, it's a bit you awkward blame, now. He... You can't blame people. And what I'm going to block out then, his number plate, by yeah. the way, because it's not, there's no. another one. Like, I don't blame him. It, you know, sort of, it, it, it's, um, people get frustrated, and if people get frustrated, they tend to sometimes act irrationally. Then you will get somebody shooting up a small road yes. fast, because we're late, we can't get there. Uh, and so, you know, to, to me, it was a poor decision by the HATOT, the Highways and Traffic Orders Committee. Mm. It was done with insufficient consultation. Um, they should come away, put these planters in storage, sit down with the local residents, and if you're going to have such a big scheme with the whole of the residential population and the business population of North Exeter, include the taxi drivers, in yes. in include people who run delivery firms, yeah. and, and work out which routes could be left as through routes, which might be a one way this way or a one way that way, um, what could make it better for things like Ladysmith School, but what would keep traffic flowing? Because if traffic flows, it doesn't cause the pollution. It's Absolutely. One question I have got for you, actually, you, you're, you've been involved with, in this to, to a level. Yeah. Um, have you met anyone that thinks it is a good idea? I uh, personally no, no. Uh, nor have I had any emails or correspondence from anyone who thinks it's a good idea. That being said, I also look at Facebook posts and I know there have been Facebook posts by people who say, oh, it was brilliant, we were able to cycle through the right. air and there was no traffic yesterday. Yeah. Um, so, uh, the, yes, there are people who, who do say this is wonderful, but the majority of people locally, I think, do not. I think if you get a thousand, nearly a thousand people at two public meetings from this sort of area, that you know that they are exercised about something. Yeah. And, and they are, and they're right to be so. It's not fair. No, not fair. no. I mean, to, for me, uh, uh, personally, I, I just think it's somebody in, in the office ticking a box saying that we've done it. We've done it for Exeter now, and I don't know. Well, but I mean, let me give you an example of, of where it, it, it just irritates me. On Sidmouth Road, you know there is the big railway bridge with uh, that goes from, if you like, down from Middlemore, down oh, yes. towards Gordano, um, so towards the service station, there's that big rail bridge there yeah. with no pedestrian walkway underneath, no yeah. cycling walkway underneath. Yeah. If they wanted to bring in a scheme that everyone would say yippee about, why on earth don't they bring in? All you need to do, as far as I can see, I'm no expert, but if you put traffic lights at either end, of the, well, there are traffic lights there, but if they were um, on a sort of... Um, crossing system so that when you got there you could press it the traffic was stopping both ways you could walk or cycle under that bridge safely that would be a scheme everyone would appreciate yes 
It wouldn't hold up motorists more than a few seconds, but the, the reason for holding them up would be of benefit to the wider community. But yeah. as it is, if you go and stand there, eventually you will see people, sometimes with baby buggies, you know, running the gauntlet of that bridge. Yes, a bit like Alfington Road and the yeah, tunnel under absolutely, there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Sadly, somebody died there a little while ago, yeah. didn't they, a couple of years ago. So there are plenty of places in Exeter where we could have sensible traffic calming that would benefit people, yeah. rather than just bringing in wholesale scheme that is is causing chaos and making people angry and that's why we need people like Anne to make the decisions and not the people who are at the moment and thank you very much for your time nice, nice and, to uh, talk I know, you had baby on this bit back <laughs> yeah i do really yeah thanks Anne. all right guys there you go and you've been a gem thank you very no, much for that Happy to help. No. yeah so you can see what's going to happen next here is there'll be cameras i'm not joking i reckon there's been 20 cars come down here in the last 20 minutes trying to get through. Most people don't know how to get through either, how to get over it and get to the other side of this. Are people going to abuse bus gates? Of course they are. I mean, who's not going to ride through that or drive for it? You know, unless they put cameras up, which is a possibility. But even then, it still makes me angry. All right. I want to say thanks to Anne because she, I literally just uh, sprung that on her. Um, I was going to show you more of the uh, other blocked off areas. I don't think that's going to be much good anyway. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go home and uh, just draw on a map of exactly what I'm talking about there. But you can see what I mean. Those roads are closed off. The bus gates are left open for buses. But other you know, people are abusing them, I suppose you could say and riding right through them. I don't blame them for a second. I really don't. We've all got places to be. We all pay our road tax. Uh, and the council are, are frankly taking us for fools. Whether it's Exeter City Council or, um, you know, Devon County. It probably is Devon County Council, isn't it? Um, idiots, to be fair, you know, to be frank. Uh, and it's not fair that we're paying their bills and their wages and they don't even consult people the people that it matters to the people that they're saying that they're trying to protect it's not protecting anyone it's actually making it worse uh, I don't know if I filmed this bit already but what uh, you know what, what gets me really is that the uh, petitions and the online consultation thing, I've seen it all before. They do nothing. If the council wants to leave them in, then they will. And uh, yeah, it's not right. No one wants it. I'm trying to, I tried to actively find somebody that actually wanted those in and I couldn't find anyone. You know, whether it's local residents or whatever, uh, they're, they're not doing anything. And in, in a minute when the schools go back, people get back to work properly over the summer holidays it's going to be a lot lot worse it's going to uh, even i know it sounds strong but it could even cause more deaths to people due to adding uh, another four minutes or so on an ambulance possibly even longer you know four minutes is a long time when you're sat there having a heart attack isn't it totally unacceptable it needs to come down now that's my opinion um, I know this is happening all the way around the country. I think it's part of Richie Sunak's uh, LTN scheme. Some people say that it's to uh, create high congestion areas. Um, so you can start charging for you know congestion jet zones and all that sort of thing. Uh, we've already lost our free parking as motorcyclists in residence parking. We weren't taking up any space wasn't causing any problem uh, but it just feels like you're getting fleeced from every angle these days any angle they can get you they will try and get you and uh, I'm not into the politics and all that rubbish I'm really not I'm very much a person who thinks that they make the decisions I don't think there's a huge amount anyone can do yes you can vote the vote them out but you're just voting one idiot from another one aren't you so uh, and I've got nothing against them either a lot of politicians I quite like you know, as people. Whatever next. You know, it seems to be one thing after another these days and it, it does need to stop.
it's not right and it's not okay. Thanks for watching. Sorry to have a rant. Um, I hope this hasn't put you off. It's I will be back to bike reviews and trips and uh, garage and live shows and all sorts uh, very shortly. So thank you very much for watching. Better get used to traffic around here. It's going to get a lot worse. Oh, by the way, they've shut off that road down there as well. You can't go through there now. Hi right, guys. See you next week. Uh, Sunday at 4pm. Unless I've got a Wednesday video coming out. <laughs> what a mess. Cheers guys. <laughs>